Hello, everyone. How are you doing? It's always so weird doing live this way. I am still going to put my phone on the side so that I can see. All right, there we go. Hey, everyone. What's up? Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Woo! Who's ready to create something amazing? So I know that um, I normally do Traffic Tuesdays at 9 a.m., 9.30 sometimes. They're a little more scheduled and prepared. Um, today I had two clients that needed my attention, so I was not able to join on with you guys earlier. So I wanted to come on here. I have been asking a few questions inside of the group, trying to gain some insight as to, as to where you are in your business and what you really need from making money using Facebook, from the group, from me, from you know coming from a support and, and a mentor. I always wanna make sure that I'm bringing stuff to you guys that's relevant for you and your business. So as you can see, I haven't even showered today. I had my three mile walk this morning. I've been serving my clients like crazy and now I am here to see what you guys need. So with that said, happy Tuesday. I wanna talk about a few things um, that's coming on moving forward. Hello, Miss Janet, good to see you again. <laughs> uh, I wanna talk about a few things when it comes to building your online business, okay? And these are crucial. Guys, we are not in the business to get sales. We are in the business of making relationships. I don't care if you're an affiliate marketer, I don't care if you're in direct sales. I don't care if you're in an MLM. I don't care if you have a brick and mortar business. You are creating a relationship with an individual, okay? So I wanna talk about like, know, and trust today. I can't even tell you how many people want to send me their link before qualifying me for their business. And my response is always the same. How do you know I'm a fit for your business? How do you know I want to work with you or you want to work with me? I may be a complainer. I may have a victim mentality. I may be completely broke. I may think your MLM is a scam. How do you have any idea that you as a prospector want to even prospect me? And so many of you are building a business from this frame of mind is like, send my link out to as many people as I can right? And, and there's no relationship building. There's no qualifying. You're not asking people to, uh, you know, what they, what they are interested in or what they're looking to create or what their goals are. Even if they want to build a business, you are just spamming the crap out of people and it's the wrong way to build a business. So we know that in order to create like, know, and trust, there's an average of like seven to 10 times for when your prospect is talking to myself or you or a customer or a client, right? It takes seven to 10 touches. They call them touches, right? Presentations count, videos uh, could be a live presentation, could be a video presentation, in-home presentation for some of you who have done that in the past who are still um, meeting with your prospects physically. It could be a Facebook post. It could be a Facebook Live like this something in your group, it could be a training, it could be an email, right? But it's seven to 10 touches before your prospect even will consider what you have to offer them, to sell them. So if we're in Facebook Messenger, how do we go about building like, know, and trust with other people? Like, what does that even look like? Many of you guys are going into Messenger with the expectation of making a sale off of your product when you've never had a real conversation with that person. You don't know what they're looking for. You don't know what they like and what they don't like. You don't know what they're struggling with. You have no idea what their pain point is, why they're not getting the goals that they want to goal, want, want to create in their business. And you're just spamming them with the link. Like here, check out my new Forex thing. Here, check out my new health and wellness thing. Here, check out my new eyelashes thing. How do you know I want eyelashes? How do you know I want to learn Forex? You have no idea. So I really want to encourage you guys as you're moving through your businesses and as you're having conversations with prospects to find things in common with them, to have a conversation with them and say, what are your goals for the next five months? Like COVID aside, right? Like what are you really looking to create by December? 
what does that look like? How much money is it? How many people is it on your team? How many products do you want to sell and programs do you want to sell? Like, what does that look like for that individual? And then why haven't they achieved that in the past? So if you haven't made $5,000 on Facebook, what do you think that's stopping you? And then pause and then listen and then say, tell me more about that. And then pause and then listen and be a human being. Hi, Gail, welcome to the group. I was just going to shoot you a message welcoming you and then uh, I realized it was already one o'clock and I had to hop on for the live. So hope you're getting value out of the group. I'll send you a message after. Um, but what value, okay, back to the messenger conversation. I digress. I apologize. So you're in messenger, you're having a conversation, you're qualifying your prospect to be on your team, to buy your product, to be in your uh, support group or your system, whatever it is that you're selling. You have to ask them questions to see if it's not only a fit for them, but a fit for you, because you may not want to work with that person. There have been people that I have brought onto my team that drain me like crazy because I was so in a hurry to make a commission in 2016 that I didn't necessarily qualify the sale. And then they end up draining you. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I like, you ever, have you ever heard like some people's money is not worth taking? Like you've got to stop and qualify your prospect, but you also need to make sure that your prospect, that you have the right solution for your prospect's problem. And that doesn't happen on Facebook Messenger on the first meeting. It may not even happen on the second one. Some of you guys aren't even getting on the phone with your prospects. You're trying to close everyone through Messenger when you've never had a Facebook business before. Stop it. Put them into a room, do a screen share, do a Zoom, and start getting to know people. Start getting to know humans and start creating relationships. When you go out there and you create real, valuable, genuine relationships, it may or may not end up in a sale, but it will always end up in something great. It could be a friendship. It could be a business partner. It could be, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at a lot of homeschooling moms right now because I made the decision to homeschool my girls this week. So now I'm building my network and my support group of other moms that are homeschooling their children here in Arizona. What are the rules? And I want my kids to still play and be interactive. And what other moms are doing that? I'm just looking to build relationships, not to sell them my products, but you know, I'm going to not to pitch them into my service, which you know I'm going to, but to genuinely build like, know, and trust with those ladies. And then should they happen to want to make money on Facebook? Should they happen to want to um, dream, you know, get involved in health and wellness, build the business? Should they want to wake up and feel more energetic and, and vitalized after homeschooling their children all day long? Right? But I'm going to get to know them on a personal level first and then see if it's a fit for my business. And if it's a fit for them, we don't ever, ever want to sell someone into something that's not a fit for them. That's a shitty salesman. That's not what we do. That's not what this group teaches. Okay. We really want to teach with authenticity. We want to come and we want to be, uh, and to have integrity and our character. No, like you want to come from a place of who is it that you want to hang out with? Like, who do you want to surround yourself with? Those are the people that you should be building your team with not people that you don't want to be around, not the negative naysayers. You don't want to talk someone into building a business that for six months said it was a scam because they will be the bad apple in your team and the money will not be worth it. So like, know, and trust. You really want to be providing a like, know, and trust factor because that's the most important thing. People will gravitate you. One, if they like you, great. They may tolerate you. They may stick around. They may not. Are you providing value? Great. Then they'll continue to follow you. Then they will start trusting you. Guys, I have people that will buy anything from me because they've been following my entire journey since 2016. They know all the struggles that I've gone through. They know that I have their back. They know that I'm going to everything but say the word guarantee their success because they work with me one on one. I don't have a digital product. I mean, I do have a $7 product, but my coaching is one-on-one -on -one with my team, group setting with my team. It's hand-holding with my team, right? So 
I really want you guys to back off of the messenger spamming people with your links and, and looking at everyone as like a sale and having a genuine conversation with the intention of just getting to know another human being and seeing what they're about and where they're from and how they're doing through COVID. Are they scared? Are they worried about losing their job? Are they, you know, putting their kids in school right now? Like, what does that look like? And see what their pain point is, right? You guys are going to learn next week. Uh, by the way, the three-day boot camp is happening next week. So super, super, super excited. We had a freaking a huge success on the last one. Uh, Sherry and I are going to be live in here next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11 a.m. for the Facebook Business Boot Camp. Now, this is a three-day event that will happen live inside this group that is not an opt-in. You don't have to sign into a landing page or anything. I'm just going to post it here in the group. And you show up live. You can come into this Facebook Business Boot Camp, and you can leave and have everything you need to build your business everything you need from attraction marketing, getting the client, understanding your ideal client to the close, having a successful close uh, with your prospect. You can come into this bootcamp with your current business, take everything that you learn in this bootcamp and ski daddle and never have any other um, you know, words with me should you, should you choose to do that. This bootcamp is to get you paid there are people that will leave the boot camp and make sales. There will people that will leave the boot camp and um, be building their team. There are people that will leave the boot camp and be understanding who their ideal client is and what that journey looks like and how to talk to their ideal client. All across the board, people will come to this and leave with whatever it is that they intended to get out of it. Okay, so that starts next week. I'm super, super, super excited. I love doing the last one. Uh, we're not going to do the Instagram bonus this one, uh, Instagram bonus this time. We may still do a bonus if you guys want to. I'll, I'll do a post and see if you guys want to see any bonuses on Saturday. Um, but it's just going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to talk about a few different businesses we are doing. There's no hard sell. There's no hard pitch. If you want to work with us, great. And if you don't, we're fine with that too. So the intention is to get you paid in the business that you're currently in. Okay? That's the intention for that. Um, so what else? I was on a call today with my clients and two things that one of my clients said, I hate to say the word client, I'm so trained on saying it, but I like to say team. So one of my teammates said to me, um, there's no substitute for personal touch. And I, it just really resonated with me because I think that we live in a world where everyone wants to create a digital product on Facebook and, um, you know, provide value. Sure, maybe. If it's, you know, good, who knows? Um, but we're really lacking the personal touch. And I think with COVID, the personal touch now is more important than ever. So the reason that I created the coaching program the way that I did for, it was, I mean, it was completely selfish on my end, is because I show up every single day at 11 a.m. and I coach my team, right? I teach them how to build their business five days a week, not one day. Uh, it is a group setting, but I don't get off the call until everyone's questions are answered. There's a ton of mindset. There's goal setting. There's ideal client. There's traction marketing. There's the close. There's the objections. Like, it's all the stuff, but it's in real time, okay? And uh, with the second boot camp, we may be implementing a PM call because we're getting that big. Uh, we have 15 people, 15 members now, and there are people that um, want to be on the call live in camp, so we may implement a PM one. We'll see how this one goes. But what makes me different and sets me apart is not only am I a six-figure earner on Facebook, I don't have a digital product that I sell you and walk away from you. I show up live five days a week to ensure that you are successful. So um, short of that, I can't do a whole lot, right? I can teach you how to fish, but you're going to have to go and get the fish yourself. So I'm not going to give you the fish, and that's what a lot of people do. So um, or or teach you how to figure it out. Like you watch a bunch of digital stuff and you're like, but I have a question and okay, great. Your one question can be answered on Wednesday at three o'clock for your group coaching call. And by then you're already frustrated and you've moved on to the next shiny object and no results are created from that space. So anyway, um, the second point that I wanted to kind of talk about today is, uh, be about what you're about. So I, Want, she she came, she was here for, um, she's from Las Vegas. Let me back up a second. She's here from Las Vegas. 
And last Friday, we did a group training here in Mesa. And there was probably 10 or 12 people that attended. And it was so much fun. And the connection and, and everything was great. And she does solar. And while she was here, she also sells this like, or not sells, but her hobby is this one wheel motor, like they call it one wheeling. So people are going one wheeling. Okay, don't ask me what it is, I don't know. But because she came here and joined one wheeling groups in Arizona, because it's a big thing, she met a bunch of people. She found um, some prospects for her solar business because she was going out, she was having fun, she was doing what she's passionate about. She was just mentioning what she happens to do because that's what you do when you talk with other people. And she is building her solar business doing that way, doing it that way. So when I got started uh, in my six figure, my first year, um, I was in groups with people that I had things in common with. My very first group was called, it's still up, it's called Greatness Through Gratitude. I'm not very active anymore. Um, I should probably start streaming these into that group so we can wake them up a little bit. Um, but it was my hobby group, right? The, the movie, The Magic, completely changed my life. And so that hobby group for me was where I could go and, and find my, like my audience was all in there. We were all talking about being grateful and why gratitude has, you know, helped our lives so much and um, all these different things. And then from there, I was able to pick out my prospects for my real estate investing business. Um, and now I do it with homeschooling moms. So you don't want to go prospecting in all of the red oceans that are all over the place. You want to go find your own unique blue ocean that is fun for you and passionate for you and exciting for you so that you can create your business in a way that's exciting and fun. So I just wanted to bring uh, those two kind of like epiphanies I had today. Um, let me know if you guys have anything that you want to see during the Facebook Business Bootcamp. I will, um, I will post a question and, and ask you guys more specifically so that we can get into like the nuts and bolts of your business if you're missing anything. And then um, this Friday, so I just did a post talking about how as entrepreneurs, we tend to focus on the money and put our health to the side. I, I totally did this, totally guilty. Like I've been wanting to lose the 10 pound mommy weight forever. And I lose it every year and I gain it back every year because I haven't created a lifestyle around maintaining my ideal weight. I diet, which we all know diets don't work because it's a lifestyle. So I've chosen to partner with a company that I'm adding into my business. Of course, there's an income component. I don't do anything where I don't make money. I'm already looking for healthy options anyway. Um, so we're going to be talking about that on Friday. If any of you are even open to the idea of you know, supplementing some of your groceries now with healthy alternatives so that you can have more mental clarity and sleep better and feel more energized. And um, there's just all kind of benefits to the system. So my mentor is actually gonna be doing that video here inside the group. So I'm really, really excited to share that with you guys. Um, as always, I'm always available to you guys in Facebook Messenger inside the group if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I have another client call at two o'clock, so I'm gonna hop off and clean myself up a little bit. Um, but I'm very excited for those of you who joined on the call live. If you are joining later, please do me a favor and hit replay so that I can see if you're getting any value out of this group, out of this video, and if you need any more support in your business. So, hope you're having a great day and I will talk with you guys soon.